I was recently lucky enough to have a unique adventure and uh, gathered together a couple friends, Rob Hofstrom and Ron Pugh. Our goal was to paddle the Rancocas Creek, the North Branch, from mile marker zero out to the Delaware River. It's curiosity that drove us to see what it would be like to travel the length of that river and see its many transitions and imagine its history and its ecology. Not an easy trip, but certainly a fun and enjoyable experience. So as we put in at mile marker zero, we were in Pine Barrens. We saw the classic Pine Barrens plants and trees that you would normally expect to see. Sweet pepper bush along the edges, American holly along the edges, Atlantic white cedar, red maple, gum. And uh, if you ever get lucky enough, maybe you get to see the uh, muskrat or the beaver. And I've seen both of those. I've only seen otter once. So if you get lucky, you get to see these things, various birds. And as you paddle downstream, you get to Hanover Street Bridge, fire station on your left. And so you'll have to, there's a bridge, and a dam. So you have to get out in Portage on the left at uh, the Rancocas Conservancy's Beechwood Preserve. So we did that, portaged around, got below the falls, put back in, paddled three more miles to the Birmingham Road, you go through a small community on either side of the creek as you get to Route 206. And from 206, you come into Smithville. So as we, as we arrived in Smithville, <clears throat> there's a port, you have to take out on the left, there's a portage. Smithville is an industrial village from the 1800s. Rancocas Creek powered the industry that was there um, with its water wheels. So you portage around the dam. Smithville is a county park. It's a beautiful place to uh, take a break. Many people end or even begin a trip there if they're doing a short paddle onto Mount Holly and Ironworks Park. So putting in at Smithville and moving on to Mount Holly is one of the more popular spots. Uh, it's easy in, easy out, because the next out uh, landing would be at Ironworks Park, easily accessible. It's a wider section, so it gets a little bit easier. Uh, it's a beautiful little section, and uh, it's popular with many people. When you get to Ironworks Park, you definitely have to portage at Ironworks Park to get around the dam and that's where the water becomes tidal. So once you put in below the dam in Mount Holly, paddling through an urban interface essentially, and since there is such remnants of the industrial era, there are a number of canals feeding into the main branch of the North Branch, and uh, at high tide, and you must hit high tide, you can wiggle in and out of these canals and come back into the North Branch and continue downstream to the Long Bridge Reserve uh, County Park and then from there on to uh, Rancocas Creek State Park which is the confluence of the South Branch. The river, the creek, really begins to widen and level out and you have more meadows, wild rice, open space. We got to watch a, a mixed flock of birds enjoying the wild rice, making their migration. And it's definitely tidal. We planned out an outgoing tide from this point. So our timing worked out very well. And so we were going with the flow. So as we continued downstream from the confluence of the North and South Branch, again, it's getting wider, quite a bit of meadow, come upon more marinas along the way. But going under the New Jersey Turnpike and Route 295, one after the other, it's kind of funny to think about how this is what most people see, how they see the Rancocas Creek. A quick glimpse going at 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, it's like, oh, there's there's the Rancocas Creek. Okay, eyes back on the road. And that's it. 
and we had the unique experience of seeing it from the ground level from east to west and it's just so different from that little glimpse you're going through urban suburban interface Willingboro Delanco Delran Riverside as you work your way through more boat traffic, so you gotta be, it slows you down a little bit, you gotta turn into those waves, making your way through to, uh, to the confluence, and we ended our trip at Amico Island, right at the edge of the Delaware. I believe many people are beginning to recognize the disconnect in our everyday lives from nature, and more and more, people are reawakening to the need to be in nature and the outdoor recreation of paddling and hiking and biking so many times it's put in relationship to running parallel with water paddling a river hiking along a river biking along a river getting to those spots where you can see water, we're drawn to it. Water's life. 